What is going on everybody? Today in this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about how to set up the brand new COD BO6 24 Pro Game Pack. All right, again, this thing's completely free to go ahead and download and add it to your Cronus End. Make sure your Cronus End's up to date. You guys have seen my videos on that. But simply go over to the Programmers tab, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see this new thing. It'll be called the COD BO6 24 Pro. All right. Now, to get it saved onto your Zen, just right click and drag and drop into the open slot. For me, you guys can see it's in my third slot. Now, as soon as you go ahead and drag it and drop it, this menu is going to pop up. If it does not, just go ahead and click on whatever slot number it's on and you'll be able to bring up the menu that way. So you guys can see, just press if it's on the second slot, go ahead and press number two. For me, it's on the third slot, so I'm going to go ahead and press the number three. And let's go ahead and zoom into the pack because when it comes to setting up this game pack, it is quite simple, but you have to make sure you match everything from exactly how you play in game. And you'll see exactly what I mean by that, especially when we scroll down here and you have to let the game pack know what gun you're using. And that is the reason I'm not a big fan of using these game packs at all, because you have to tell the Zen what gun you're using at all time. For multiplayer, it's fine. But as soon as Warzone comes out with season one update, I don't think it's going to be that useful, but let's go and get it into setting it up. First thing, your button layout, match this to exactly how you play. So personally for me, I play on inside. Of I know everyone's looking for the best plug and play scripts, but worry no more. We got you guys covered. Go ahead and click on the first link in the video description. That's going to take you guys over into the Podia. And I believe in the product so much, guys. I leave my personal phone numbers and the email below it. All right. So if you guys ever have trouble setting it up, just shoot me a text. Again, do not call me. I will not pick up. It comes right here on this phone. Now, we got five tiers open currently. We got the Extreme Scripts tier, which gives you guys access to all the scripts. Ultimate Aim Assist tier that gives you access to the scripts, as well as the Aim Assist values, all right? Then we got the Custom Scripts tier. This gives you access to a custom script where we use your exact in-game settings, make you a script so you don't have to adjust anything. And then we got the Legendary tier. This is for anyone that is new to the Zen. This is where we get on a one on one call. So we make sure you set up the Zen right and you don't mess up anything and you don't have to spend hours figuring it out what the best script is, all that good stuff. And then finally, the lifetime tier. This is the only one time purchase. All right. You pay a one time fee. You get access to everything in here. Now, here's look at everything in the extreme scripts. We add a brand new script every single month and we've done this for about two years now. And then we got the ultimate aim assist tier for the aim assist values for the scripts in the extreme scripts tier. Right. Now, I know a lot of people are always looking for a one-time buy for the script. So we did open up a Selfie -Fi store, also link in the description. That's going to be the $75 tier. Again, a one-time purchase. And I do update the script. So anytime a new script comes out, you guys will have access to that as well. And then if you just want to try out a basic tier, this is right now at $10 per month. But it will be going up in price. So make sure you guys go and join up. But let's go and get back to the video. But before we do, man, huge shout out to the 3K members that are currently part of the Podia. Appreciate every single one of you guys. Let's go and get back to the video. My Black Ops 6 and even Warzone, I play on tactical. That's my button layout. So just match whatever button layout you're using. Okay. If you play on custom, this game pack's great because you'll be able to go ahead and select that. All right. So just go ahead and select that. Next, you got the trigger dead zones. Make sure this is set to zero. Okay. You don't want any dead zones in your left or your right triggers. All right. Then we can go and scroll down. And this is if you play it on custom, right? So you can change your jump your slide cancel, all that good stuff right there. I'm just going to go and keep scrolling because I already selected tactical up here. So all that's going to be preset for me. All right. Then next setting is your stick layout. So make sure you select whatever stick layout y'all play on. Proceed for me default. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it on that stick sensitivity. Make sure you match both your vertical and horizontal. Personally, for me, I play on seven on my vertical seven on my horizontal. And it says it right there. Make sure both of them match so your vertical and horizontal. They got to make sure they are matched. All right. Next is your stick min input dead zone. This means your left stick min dead zone and your right stick min dead zone. You want to make sure this is at five. If you want the best aim assist, if you guys seen my aim assist videos with my scripts where I get the crazy drag, that's what I use. Okay. Make sure your min dead zones are at five. Then we're going to go and scroll down. We got sticky max. This is going to be the stick dead zone for max. Leave that at 99. All right. Then we're going to go and scroll down a little bit more. You got response curve type. I recommend leaving it on standard, but go ahead and select whatever you use there. Not that big of a deal. Next, your invert vertical look. I know some people that play on inverted. Go ahead and select your look there. Next is going to be elite upper left paddle mods. This is if you have an elite series two controller. I personally do, but I don't even use these different mods on here. 
Again, I've tried using it. It does not work the best. So again, for me, I don't really use this stuff. So I'm going to go and scroll down. But if you did have a Elite controller, you can set up different mods to it, which is quite helpful. So if you wanted to do that, you can. Next setting we got is global mods, right? Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to make a whole separate video where I go into the game to test this game pack out. So if you want to see me test out this game pack inside just like a private match and break down all these global mods and anti recoil and all that stuff, let me know in the comments. I can go ahead and do that, all right? And in here, you got aim assist for your global mods, autofocus for all you sniper people, block rumble so your controller does not vibrate when you're playing, rapid melee, rotational aim assist, and slide cancel. Personally, for me, I would scroll all the way down and select the last option, which is going to give you all the global mods. Always select it. You might as well use it. It's part of the game pack, all right? That's the reason you're using it. Next is hair triggers. If you're someone that doesn't have an elite style controller, meaning you don't have trigger stops on your controller, I would put this on both triggers, all right? Next setting is going to be your aim assist. So right up here, you can see active aim mod. You're going to go ahead and select that and always make sure you do aim assist, okay? And then you can do active shot mods, same thing. You can use aim assist when you're shooting. There's a bunch of other mods. Again, let me know in the comments if you guys want a breakdown of all these different mods. I don't mind doing that if there's enough people that want to see what the heck they do. But if there isn't enough people that want these stuff, what's the point of making the videos, right? Then next setting is going to be your anti-recoil mode, right? We can see right there. Now let's go and quickly touch on the aim assist intensity. That's going to be your aim assist value. I recommend leaving this value anywhere between 15 to 10. The aim assist drag that you're going to get is just going to vary depend on your number. But also, higher the number, the more screen shake, right? The higher number you leave, if you put it to 20, 25, that's when you start getting that little circle going on in your screen. That's this number right here. So if you don't like it, just come in and lower it, all right? Then we're going to scroll down a little bit more. We got anti-recoil mode right here. For me, I just go ahead and utilize standard, standard old quick edit, or you can do default quick edit, or just leave it on standard default quick edit. That's going to work the best, all right? Then is weapon selector mode. Okay, again, you won't be able to change that in here. That'll be done with our controller. If you guys want a video of me utilizing this whole game pack, just with my PS5 and then my Xbox controller, so you'll be able to adjust things on the fly. Again, let me know in the comments. We'll go ahead and make that video. A weapon swap, this is how you switch from your primary weapons. You can see loadout one primary to your secondary weapons. All right, that's what it's asking you. And again, there's going to have three or four loadouts. Yeah, you can see three and loadout four. So up to four different primaries and secondaries, meaning in total four times two, eight different weapons you can select. So up here, what weapon swap is asking you is how do you go from primary to secondary? If you leave it on automatic, you'll simply just go ahead and press Y. Or if you're on PlayStation Triangle to change your weapons, right? So it will automatically do that. So for me, I just leave it on automatic, all right? Next is going to be, this is what I mean, why game packs suck. Personally for me, okay? If you like them, go use them. I don't care, okay? And that is you have to tell the game pack what gun you're using at all times, all right? And that makes it so tedious because if you're using the wrong gun and the game pack thinks, let's say you're in the game and you have the AK-47 out and the Zen thinks you have the XM4, it's going to give you the recoil for the XM4, right? So it's not going to give you the best of both worlds with aim assist and anti-recoil. This game pack is definitely really good for anti-recoil if you tell it all the time what gun you're using. So in multiplayer, it's probably going to work great. So I would utilize it if you're going to do that. All right. So let's say you selected the AK-74. When it comes to adjusting your vertical and horizontal, it's very simple. Don't touch the horizontal. Okay. Leave the horizontal always at zero. The only time you'd adjust the vertical is by doing this. If the gun shoots up a lot, you just come in here and you'd increase this value. Okay. And then if the gun shoots down a lot, you just go in and decrease. And again, all this can be done with our controllers. Let me know in the comments if you want that video. I'll get that done very quickly. All right. So again, I'm recording this video on November 1st. I can get that video out for you literally the next day or the day after. Just let me know if that's what's something you guys want. Me going into the game and using this game pack. Again, personally for me, just leave it at zero. And again, that's how you adjust. If the gun shoots up, increase the value. Gun shoots down, decrease that value. Okay, that's how simple it is. 
Then you scroll down, you'd go ahead and select the secondary weapon in here. So let's say you're running overkill and you got the C9, you do that. Same thing for adjusting. Horizontal always at zero. Do not touch the horizontal. I'm telling you right now, don't do it. Then you got loadout number two, so you can set up your loadout number two and so on and so forth, all right? Once you're done adjusting and putting in all your weapons, all you would do is hit close. Don't hit the X, okay? Do not hit the X, all right? Just simply go down here, hit close, and then press this play button, and it's going to go ahead and save the game pack, and that's it. Once you've saved it, you can go over to your Cronus End, and this is how you turn on the game pack, all right? Once it saves, I'll show you guys a face cam and a Zen cam, all right? So once you got it saved, make sure you plug it into your PC, laptop, PS5, Xbox. I don't care whatever device you're using to play. And then simply press the right side big blue button. You guys can see our GOAT version 2 script coming out for Season 1. Again, not out yet unless you're on the Podia. But the Panda AMV5. And here is the BO6 game pack. That's what it'll look like. You can see it says Loadout 1 because I had my gun set over here to Loadout 1, right? See, if I scroll down, AK-74, that's what it's going to say. All right, so hope you enjoy. That's how simple it is to set it up. And again, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to go into the game utilize the game pack with my xbox and my ps5 controller and then also if you want me to utilize the different global mods and all those things all right so appreciate every single one of you guys hope you enjoy try it out love ya